Hey everyone, welcome back. Good to see you again. Glad to have you in today's video. There's been a lot of talk about, you know, presentation from Wash Weekly issue we did a couple months ago, actually, on uh, WOW and a client with presentation with your sock straps. And there's been a lot of, you know, talk and feedback about, like, how do we make those? And we got quite a few questions on it. So today's goal is I'm going to walk you step by step and show you how we make sock straps. And in this video, you'll be able to follow along and do it exactly like we do. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in. And first thing you want to do is we're going to go to our website that we use that you'll see here, uprinting.com. This is where we make the majority of our print materials. So it's easy to use. You can design on the site and it's super cost effective. Uprinting.com. What we'll do is we jump right into it. You want to, they have so many different products here. We want to look for what's called right, packaging sleeves. So you can see it right here. We'll click on it and we're at packaging sleeves. So they have a couple different here and you can see it gives you an overview of what it looks like. It gives you the size, paperweight. If you want to print one-sided, two-sided, if you want to do peel and seal. We currently don't do peel and seal, but you can. It has an adhesive on it, makes it super easy to stick together. We currently just use a stapler or a piece of tape, but I think in my next batch I'm gonna be ordering, I'm gonna go with the peel and seal just to make it a little easier on the team. And it's just one less thing we need to use. So once you go through here, you choose the width, you choose the height, paper, you're gonna start designing it. So you have a couple options. You can upload your own or you do this here, create. We're gonna go with create your design online. So I've got a second tab here open just to save us a little bit of time. And this is what ours looks like, the finished product. So you can see here, we use 13 by two. You can change the size of whatever you want, but just keep in mind, the bigger it is, the more costs. We used to use a size that was like 14 by something. I can't remember, maybe 14 by two and a half or four. I think it was 14 by three. So it was two inches long and an inch wider. And it cost us dramatically more. Then one day I was at the shop. I was like, we don't need it to be this long and we don't really need it to be that wide. And I experimented with another side and it, it cut the price way down. So we're gonna do 13 by two. So we're gonna jump over here. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make this 13. And we're gonna go by two and we're gonna use a hundred pound paper gloss. You can go lighter if you want. Sorry, you can't go lighter with the paper weight. You can change it from matte or gloss. We use gloss. I like the finish. Makes it pop a little more when they see it. I've done matte also. You can print both, both sides or one sided. We're only gonna do front sided because the back side is gonna be facing the socks. Why waste the money? They're not gonna see that side of it. And if you want peel and seal, you just add it. If not, you leave it at none. And you can choose your quantity here and your shipping time. So we're just gonna leave it at that for now. We're gonna hit create design online. It's gonna take us to the design portal. And you can see right here, right away, it gives us the exact dimensions of the sock strap and it's blank. So we're gonna fill everything in. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna add a background color. And listen, I urge you to make these mimic your brand, your brand colors, use your brand fonts, images, your logo, go bananas with it. Make it represent your brand because they're gonna see this when they open up their laundry. So I wanna change the background, so I'm gonna go with this rectangle here. And I'm just gonna take this rectangle and you notice, see these lines here? These are the bleed lines and the, basically the cut lines. So you want to make it full bleed. So whatever color you have, you want to go all the way to the edge. So it prints the color all the way to the edge. And you want to keep all your text within that blue line. Anything on that red line is the cut. So don't take anything past that except the color for the sock strap. So I'm going to just use this rectangle to make my background color. So right now it's yellow. I'm going to go here and change the fill color. Our colors are black, white, and pink. So I'm going to make the whole background pink. Uh, whoa, sorry, black. And you can use CMYK if you know the codes, or you can just use this color picker here. So we're going to use 000100. I think that's true black or rich black. Don't quote me on it. I always get it mixed up. But that's what we're going to go with for our background. So boom, background is done. Now I want to drop some images in it. You see this here? It says upload images from your computer. So I've uploaded images in the past, so they save them for you. So you can see our logos are here. So I'm going to use the, squ the Square Soapbox logo and hit Insert. Insert, not Insert. Okay, so we've got to insert it. 
and I can, you can position it any way you want within it. Now, one thing is our logo, the letters are transparent. So you see it's showing black here, but I kind of prefer for the logo to have a white letters. So what we'll do is we'll click here. We'll add a rectangle. We'll take this rectangle. We'll match it to the size of the soapbox logo. Slightly smaller. And I'm going to change one, the border color to white. And I'm going to change the fill color to white. So here's my white square. And here's the logo. So what I'm going to do is I'll just do it this way so you can see how it goes. I'm going to hit layers. And I'm going to say send backwards. So now I pushed the white rectangle behind the logo. So now the two of them, one is behind the other. And I can see the white rectangle through the transparent parts of the soapbox logo. Uh, maybe we want to add some text to mimic this one here to say thank you. So I'll go here and hit text box and I'll enter text. Thank you for choosing. Well, help if I spell it right. Choosing the soap. Whoops. Soap box exclamation mark so that's my text and you notice it doesn't show it because the text is color is black so I'm gonna go here and change the color from black to white boom there's our text and I can adjust this text box any way I want do I want to make it smaller do I want to make it longer do I want to change the alignment of the font I'm gonna make it centered so here it is, center. It will make it a little longer. Oh, today's thing is acting really weird. We'll make it a little longer. And you can see how it adjusts the text. So we're going to take it all the way and say thank you for choosing the soapbox. We'll align this here. I'm going to move the logo a little bit line it up with it and this is just like really rough you can really get creative with it and do it the way you want so I want to put something else down here so I'm really into pushing our social media so I'm gonna choose Twitter adjust the size a little bit now I don't even know why I'm using Twitter because we, we don't really use our Twitter for the soapbox anymore I gotta talk to um, Brian as some of you know like Joe Dan calls Brian paparazzi I'm gonna have to talk to paparazzi um, about that. I also want to put uh, Instagram. We use Instagram primarily. We use that quite a bit. So we'll bring that in. I'll reduce that size a little bit by dragging a corner. I'm kind of eyeballing it, but you see those grid lines that pop up? You can use those grid lines to line everything up. But I'm just doing a little rough because I don't want to eat up too much of your time trying to make this perfect. Then I'm going to insert one more. Let's go with, um, I think, do we have LinkedIn? We should have LinkedIn on here too. We're going to have to add that in the future because we're getting really active on LinkedIn with the soapbox now. So we're going to say Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm going to put a little more space between these and space them out. It's just a little smaller. Move this one a little closer. I'm kind of eyeballing it fast, but this one's a little off. You could also use the arrows on your keyboard to make micro adjustments. So you click it and you just click the arrows on your keyboard. So we'll say thank you for using the soapbox. Wow, this is like, I'm really not too happy with this one, but you get the idea. You make it your own. You know what? I'm going to change this text to, I'm just going to say thank you. I'll make this a little longer. So thank you is all on one line. And then I'm going to move it here. So this looks a little janky, but you get the idea. So you can customize it. Um, we also have, we talked about this in a couple of issues too of Wash Weekly. We talked about the surveys, getting the information. So we do have a survey where they can fill out. You could also add that. You can add anything you want. Like I love using QR codes to take people right where we want them to go. So let's just say we put this QR code in it. And I'm going to kind of center it a little bit because I want to have this extra space here. So when they wrap the strap around the socks, it shows it a little better. So I'll just move this over. We'll kind of just clean it up a little bit and then put this in the middle. 
Um, another one, uh, you know what I encourage you to check out too? Check out um, Madison on either Facebook or LinkedIn. She did her sock straps recently and she put it on her Facebook. You should check her out. I'll put the links in the show notes for you printing. Also check out Madison. She did a great one. Uh, she designed for her sock straps for her mobile laundry service and they came out really good. I was really impressed with them. Um, but yeah, she, she used QR codes too. And I love QR codes. So you can see here, we've got the logo representing a brand, our message. We put our little social media icons. I threw a QR code that they can scan to take our survey to let us know how, how we did. And that's it. And it's done. Then you would just hit proceed to order. So I'm going to jump to this one that we typically use. You just hit proceed to order. It calculates everything for you. It gives you a preview of it, the front and the back. We're not going to print on the back. It gives you the name. So this is a test one I did. You name it, whatever you want. The size, the paper weight, front only print, no peel and seal, and the number I want. You can see here I got 250 for $43. Some of you going to be like, Wally, that's crazy. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know what the math is on that. Let me, don't hold this against me. I had to get the calculator. But we're talking, what is that? 4378 that doesn't include shipping i have no idea what that is but we'll just do this gross number divided by 250. so that's like 18 cent a strap for 250. so clearly like that's way too much money i'm not spending that much um per strap so if we boost it up let's say we do like I, i'll get like i think sometimes we get we get like ten thousand at a time or is it five thousand i think we typically do ten thousand at once so if I get 10,000, you can see here, it's 173 bucks for 10,000 of them. Now let's do the math on that. 173.85 divided by 10,000. That's like two cent a strap, ladies and gentlemen. Two cent a strap. Now granted, it's gonna cost you a little more than shipping, then there's labor involved. But as you can see, it's it's a nominal cost to you know wow the client. So. Think about that but again it's all finished then you would just hit add to cart put in your shipping information and there's your sock strap and then it's shipped right out to you um, super easy painless so you've got this video here with how to make a sock strap you've got the previous video we put up before about using sock straps to wow the client and giving a great presentation so with these two videos you got quite a bit of information out there to package your socks and give your laundry a different presentation than a lot of the competitors out there to wow your clients. Can't wait to see all the designs you all make. It's going to be awesome. Please share them. Hit me up. Wash Weekly. Email them to me. Post them online. Tag me. But don't forget, any questions you have about today's video, make any sock strap, hit me up in the comments. Hit me up on LinkedIn. Send me any questions you have, ideas. You can also go to Wash Weekly, email me. Love to hear your thoughts on it or any questions you have that I can help you answer. Or you just want to chat laundry. Looking forward to it. Thanks.